Hey everyone, Irish Sky here. Now you may have uh, chroma keyed, also known as green screening, within uh, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, uh, possibly Adobe, Adobe Premiere, or other products, but have you done it within a uh, photo editing app such as Photoshop? Now, what I'm going to demonstrate here within Photoshop is how to utilize a green screened image, how to cut out the, the model or the subject or whatever and paste only it without the screen in the background. So as you can see here, uh, this is the model. Just downloaded it from a uh, from a free uh, royalty free website, and I'll include I've included that information within the video description. If you if you want to download this same image to to learn for yourself how to uh, how to chroma key within Photoshop, but it's very simple. So uh, the first thing you'll do after you've opened the image, and as you can see here, I've got this <coughs> excuse me this model. Uh, photographed in front of a green screen. You'll go to select menu from the top. Then you'll go to color range. Once you're in color range, you'll see this little dropper over here in the in the section. So what you're going to do, and, and by the way, green screen is never perfect. Uh, you can see this. There's different uh, degrees of green, but I'm just going to pick this green area up here. Once I've selected that, of course, to pick it, I just left mouse clicked. The next thing you're going to want to do is check this box that says invert. And then after you invert, you're going to need to drag this fuzziness. And so you can see there how you can see the model coming out of the picture. So the objective is to get this fuzziness to where you're, and it's not going to be perfect unless your green screen was just absolutely perfect, but you're going to want to get this fuzziness to where you've got the whole outline of the of the model that you want. Now see if I go too far it's going to be a little bit extreme so I'm just going to go I'm going to go about right there. You can see you got the, the legs and the guitar and everything so I'll hit once you've gotten that uh, perfect hit OK and now you can see it's actually uh, automatically placed lines around this model. Now I did miss some of the hair um, that's something that could be sorted out later. But for the purposes of this demonstration, once you've gotten the model highlighted, uh, you'll then do an edit copy. Where you could also, if you're using a Mac, you could do Command C, and then go to where you want to embed this. Now, in this case, I've got this image here of a beach. Uh, this is Cinnamon Bay in St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an edit paste, and now you can see there's the uh, there's the model there on the beach. And one thing that I don't that I immediately don't like about this is that you can kind of see through the model. You can see the background back there. So I didn't uh, I didn't do things perfectly. So how how do I fix that? Well, I'm going to do a step backward, edit step backward. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to do an edit step backward again, and I'm going to repeat that select color range process. I probably went too far with the fuzziness. So see you'll notice and this is very subtle but you see there when I'm at 171 you can really see the detail of the model. You can see the shirt and the guitar. I'm gonna go back to and see now you see that detail going away. Now you pretty much got a solid white area there without any visible clothing detail. So I'm gonna hit OK and now I'm going to do an edit, copy again, and paste over here. Okay, now you can see a dramatic difference. This model is no longer transparent. Now the legs, if you see there, there's, there's a little bit of transparency there. But that's because the green screen, when you notice this particular shot that I was using for this, it wasn't a perfectly consistent degree of green from top to bottom. But if you just look at this part right here, I mean that's that's pretty good. I mean that's you know it 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 looks. Uh, I mean obviously you can see the remnants of green in the hair. A lot of things that could be tweaked, but just for a quick and dirty green screen project, this is a simple way to do it. So just remember, as this example just demonstrated, when you're doing the uh, when you're doing the edit, 
I'm sorry, when you're doing the select and the color range, try to get that white. Because if you go too far where you actually see detail of the subject or model, you're, it's going to be transparent when it's pasted into the... And, and actually, just to demonstrate, let's do a side-by-side -side here. So I'm going to take it way over so I see more black in the background, but I, I also see details on the model. So watch what happens here. And see this one? It's you can see through like right there in the in the shirt, you can see that guy standing on the beach. And likewise, if I put it there, you can see the the face through the body. So, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert with this, but it's definitely a, a skill to perfect. And this is a down and dirty, get you started kind of guide. So, uh, appreciate your views. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irix guy. And uh, feel free to check out all of my videos. I've got an abundance of videos pertaining to uh, uh, various video topics, as well as photo editing, troubleshooting, GoPro videos, you name it. Y'all have a good day.